Hi there, I'm Char and welcome back to my channel to the Simple Spells for the Home playlist. Now by viewer request, I am going to remake my simple salt and water spell to absorb negative energy in the home. So this is a little bit of an updated one. I'll have better measurements for you and things like that. So first off, what you need for this is a jar, a, gla a glass jar. You need some salt, okay, table salt, whatever salt is cheap, um, and you need some hot water and a spoon to mix it, okay? So put a label on your jar. This one says, salt and water, absorb negative energy. I have the date on here, October 6, 2020. Now, once I'm done this, I will show you what I have lined up behind here, and I will show you my spell in progress, when that's done, and what to do with the jar when it's done. So completely covering everything today. So first off, we've labeled our jar. Now we're going to put our intention in here. So we're, we've got our hand on the jar, and we're just going to make the jar aware of what its job is. So I am intending this jar to absorb the negative energy or floating around the house and help the salt and water do its job. So the jar has a job. All right, so I've put a label on the jar so that we can keep track of our progress here. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to put in three tablespoons, three TBSP, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Three of the big guys of salt. Now you're going to ask me, does it matter what kind of jar I use? No. This is an old salad dressing jar. Do not use anything that is important. I recycle and upcycle as often as I can. So there's one, two, by the power of three, so mode it be. This jar is going to absorb negative energy for me. Alright, so I've got three big tablespoons of salt in there. Do you see how much salt that is? Now, we're done with the salt. What I have here is some very hot water from the kettle. So I've got boiling hot water. Be careful not to burn yourself. And as you're pouring, you know, the salt, oh, before we do that, you're intending the salt to use its crystallization power to absorb the negative energy ions. Now when I say absorbing never negative energy, ions are a thing, they're energy. It's things that are floating through the air at a really fast vibration and they can pick up good vibes, they can pick up bad, bad vibes. And so when I say to capture that negative energy going in here, it's capturing those ions, it's capturing those, those things that aren't supposed to be happening and throwing the, the frequency and the energy and the vibration off, it's going to capture that and put it in here. There is science behind this. Salt is a crystal. It, it dissolves in water and then it reappears. So it's not pure magic. Look, this happened because there's salt and water in here. There, this happened because of science, but the way it looks when it happens is because of magic. Okay? So make that very clear. The magic here is also the intention that you're putting in it. Your intentions, your willpower, your communication with the universe, what you're asking for, what you're praying for, those are all very, very, very powerful, powerful tools that a lot of people don't realize they have or they take advantage of by complaining, right? So again, that's per perceiving that that negative energy is going out in our voice, our breath, our air. So... <laughs> Keeping it really simple, there's a lot of magic and a lot of science that does happen. So we've got three big tablespoons of water in here. We have put the intention the salt is going to do its job, the jar is going to do its job. I have the cup of boiling hot water here from the kettle. I am telling the water that it has a job to do with the salt to help it absorb the negative energy, the negative um, frequencies that are going on around to help keep the jaw, um, to help keep the house on a very neutral and positive level. Okay? So also not denying that there's bad days, but just helping that energy not stick around, helping to that energy not linger. We're going to put it in there. So I'm pouring this together and I'm just thinking about how my intention with this is going to be. I intend for this to help my house, my family, my homestead, 
I intend for this to work to absorb the negative energy that's around my home. All right, so that intention has gone from that water into this water. And you guys know from watching my two cup method, quantum jumping, infusing water to do a job is a very, very um, popular and useful thing. All right, so we're just going to mix this about. Oh, guess what? I'm mixing it both ways. So you can mix it all one way if you're more advanced. You can mix it all the other way if you're more advanced. I'm mixing this. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. It's a very simple spell. All right. So here we are mixing it all up until the salt is dissolved. And as I'm mixing it, I want negative energy to get sucked into that vortex that goes all the way to the bottom of the jar. Um, you know, like when you mix something around, it creates a little funnel in there. So mix it hard and create that funnel. Look at there's some bubbles going on. Careful it doesn't splash you or get into your eyes. Oh, mixing, mixing, mixing. There's a little vortex going on in there. Can you see that salt moving around the bottom? Alright, you know what your job is to do in here, salt and water. And you're just going to keep mixing it until it's dissolved. Saying what you have on the label. It is today's date, and I am making this concoction to absorb negative energy in my home. I will not allow it anymore. You know, doing this and the intention of doing this is really putting your foot down about not allowing that situation anymore. All right, enough tinking for me. Nope, there's still a bit of salt down there. And the reason I use the hot water is to help the salt absorb or um, dissipate better. It doesn't absorb in there, it, uh, it melts. <laughs> All right. So like I said, if you have a preferred way of stirring it, if you have something you want done, by all means, chant that out while you're stirring this. Literally, I keep this on my counter, on my kitchen altar. Like that video I showed you, my salt water jar is always, always on my altar, okay? So there we go, and that is done, and that is it. So you say your final closing words. Thank you for providing this to me. I am grateful for this to be happening. I demand that negative energy be absorbed into this salt water jar. Thank you, universe, for providing this for me. Thank you, salt. Thank you, water. Thank you, jar. Now do your job. And there we go. So that's it. Super quick, super easy. Like super duper quick and easy and then you just wait so this will sometimes take anywhere from like a month depending on what um, part of the year you're in and the humidity levels and everything else around you so sometimes it'll go in a month sometimes it takes two sometimes it takes three so this is just the new one I'm going to put on my altar but as I promised let's have a look at how it comes along and then what to do with the jar after. So this right now is my current, current salt and water spell I have on my altar. Okay. Uh. Okay, I just had to get a darker background so we can see this better. I've had this going since June 1st, 2020. Oh, I put the wrong date on there. To absorb negative energy. And so I've had all that water absorb and you can see where my water level is now. You can see it wiggling. There's salt, a salt island forming on that. But all the salts have come up the side. And you can see at the bottom, there's also salt crystals forming. Sorry guys, I cannot tip it anymore really. Yeah, so there's salt crystals forming on the bottom. And there's a couple of dead fruit flies in there, but there's a little bit of a salt island forming on top. And then it creates crystals along the side of the glass. And that is where the negative energy is being held by the salt. So I'll show you one that's done. Keep the unveiling going here. So this is one that I did um, March 31st to absorb COVID-19 fear and bad vibes. March... So this went through really fast. What was my date on the other one? 
April, May, June. So this went through in three months, where June, July, August, September, October, where this one is four months in. July, August, September, October, yeah. This one here is four months in, and it's really calmed down, hey? But this one was active for March, April, May, June. This one was active for three months. And do you see that tower that was created in there? Do you see that tower that was created in there? Um, that's what the salt did when it absorbed our fears about COVID. Oops. That's what it created. Okay, its own little like molecule on the top of a something in there. Okay, and I, oops. And I also have salt all the way up around the sides, but the way it really protrudes on the side there, we can't really see it through the edge or through the bottom. And that's in there, like there's no... Okay, so there's the bottom and it looks so crystally and bubbly down there and the sides. So this really does work absorbing the negative energy. I wish you could see that. Stagnite, stalagnite, stalactite. I kept this one because it's just so incredible. Like if I stick my spoon down there, you can actually see how high up the spoon it is. It comes to the base of the spoon. So really this does work. I have been using it for several, several years and my altar is with it always. So that's just an extreme there. And then this is what happens, what to do with it when you're done. Okay, so this is an old jar. I did a money spell in this. It's been dyed, tarnished, stained, scratched, okay? This is why we use an old jar. All that inside is permanently stained. So all I did at the end is I run the whole jar. I just stick that right under hot water. I pour hot water in there and I let it break all the salts away and melt it all down and then you can take it and throw it outside or you can dump it down the drain and just say goodbye to it. It doesn't matter if it touches you, it doesn't matter anything. As long as on your way out you're saying goodbye, thank you for doing your job, I appreciate the negativity that you've absorbed in here, I appreciate the science and the magic behind it, and you can dump it down your drain or you can throw it outside, whatever you choose to do with the jar when you're done with it is the right thing. So you can recycle your jar, you can throw it away, you can use it again. Uh, I reuse them just because I know how scratched up and scratchy they get, except they used a brand new one. And like I said, this is just a salad dressing jar. We buy it at the store with the dressing in it and I just recycle the jars. I don't use anything of any importance. All right, you guys, I hope that helped you. I hope this gives you some insight, and please do give it a try. I'll leave my altar video here at the end so you can see where I put this. And yeah, thank you so much for the great request. If there's anything else you guys want to see, please let me know and give the video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Let them know about it. Let them do it too and see what their results are so that you can have a comparison. Take a picture, tag me in social media, let me know what your results are. And I'll keep you posted as this one absorbs. Yeah, things are good. I hope your day was great and I thank you for hanging out here with me. I'll see you next time in the Simple Spells playlist. Subscribe, click the notification bell.